Hi everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, today we're talking about an indicator that is, uh, sorry, this is not really an indicator. This is more like a, more like what you call, a, uh, you could call it an indicator of some sort, uh, but it is not an index. Uh, it is a pattern. It is a chart pattern. Okay, so uh, today we're going to learn about this thing called Fibonacci extension. Fibonacci extension. All right. Uh, in one of the previous lessons, I covered what is called Fibo retracement, right? Fibonacci retracement. If you don't know anything about that, uh, please refer to that video for more information. Okay, but continuing on, <coughs> continuing on, today we're going to talk about Fibo extension. Now, if you recall in the Fibonacci retracement lesson, I basically went through how to use the retracement to actually find out when the prevailing trend will continue, right? We are trying to find out the word when it will continue. Now, today's lesson, we're going to use another feature of Fibonacci to find out where it will go to. Okay, so that lesson was on the when, this lesson is on the where. Okay, so when we already answered by using the Fibonacci retracement. Of course, it's not 100% accurate, but it is a way to find out the when. Now, today we're going to use Fibonacci extension to find out the where. To find out the where. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let me just go right here. Okay, now this is the one you're looking at. Trend-based FIB extension. FIB stands for Fibonacci. All right. So for example, I want to find out, let's say this downtrend, of course, now it came up and all that, but let's say, I want, let's say this downtrend, I believe that it will continue. Now the question is how far it will continue. What you need to do is, what you need to do is you need to drag from the top of this uh, downtrend. Okay. And go all the way down. Okay. And you see there's this uh, line that's slanted here, right? You just need to put it to the you need to put it on a level, on the same level as the bottom of the downtrend. And that's it. Okay. That's it. All right. Let me just zoom in. Okay. Okay. So I went from the top here. Okay. And I drew it all the way down. I drew it all the way down because this was the entire downtrend. Because your, what you want to find out is after some retracement, how far is it going to go down? Okay, these are the levels that it can go down to. Okay, before it sees a uh, reasonable retracement. Okay, before it sees reasonable retracement. So usually I will note the one one point six one eight level. I will note the three point six one eight level. These are the two key levels to watch. Okay, the one point six one eight level and the three point six one eight level. These are the two levels to watch. Okay, so what you can do is you can draw a horizontal line here. Okay, then you draw another one here. Okay, so these are the two levels to watch. You can put this as a different color. All right, then you put this as, uh, let's say, all right, so, these are the two levels to watch. But the reason why I, I demonstrated it like that is because I want to show you one simple thing. As you can see, the trend did not continue. It did not continue. So again, this is not a foolproof pattern that you can use. Okay, this is not foolproof. This is not 100% accurate. Nothing is 100% accurate. All right, as you can see, in this case, the downtrend did not continue. You only use the feed extension if you have done your other forms of analysis and you think that the downtrend will continue. Then you use the feed extension to see where the downtrend will continue until. Which point, which level will it continue until? Until it sees a correction or a total trend reversal. All right. That is what the FIB extension is for. All right, the FIB extension is not a crystal ball where you draw it and you say, okay, it's going to go down to this level or that. No, you only use the FIB extension after you did your other forms of analysis and you think that the prevailing trend will continue. You just need to know where. The FIB extension is good for finding the where, not the when. Okay? 
or the what okay another example let's do another example all right let's do an uptrend this time let's do an uptrend this time all right again i'm using this uh this what you call that this particular indicator on forex because the chart is nicer all right but if you trade stocks you can trade commodities if you trade precious metals same okay so okay so you can see here uh we have we have this then it came down and came up okay now oops shit okay let me just put it back to um things two hours four hours okay never mind okay <clears throat> Let me go to 15 minutes just to generate more candle bars, candlesticks. Okay. Okay, let's say. Alright, so this downtrend continue. Okay, this downtrend continue. So this will be a good place to demonstrate how to use the Fibonacci extension. So you click on the icon. I've clicked on it already. Click on it again. Alright, if it's blue, it means that you've clicked on it. Okay. What you do is you drag from the left to the right. Alright, this entire downtrend here. Click, drag. Okay, then you click again at the bottom. Then you feed it to the low of that lowest candlestick in the entire downtrend. Okay, then now you zoom in to see if you did it accurately. All right, so this is definitely, yes, this is the bottom. All right, this is the top. Okay, so usually the good thing about trading view is that they will auto feed your cursor to the lowest point. If they, they can tell if you're trying to match something to the lowest point. They will do an auto feed all right so you can see that in this case okay you can draw these lines out right you can draw these lines out to see okay so there's one line here all right there's another line here there's another line here there's another line here there's another line here There's another line here. Okay, I'm gonna draw till the 1.618 level. Alright. So you can see that if you do this correctly, it actually when you touch all these levels, you can see a bit of retracement here and there. Okay. Then of course it tried to touch this one, but it didn't and it went back up. Okay, so there is a fair degree of accuracy when it comes to the feeble extension. Alright, it is good to use for you to actually plan your prevailing trade prevailing trend trade if the prevailing trend is down like for example this one what i did was i drew from here all the way to here right so this was the, the inside the rectangle rectangle box is the downtrend that i spotted and i wanted to know how far this downtrend will continue so i used the fib extension and i drew the lines okay it's not very accurate okay if you want it to be accurate what you should do is you should be a bit more hard working and just type in the values into the line so you click on this right click settings okay coordinates all right you can type in the actual price all right because here the price is being reflected you can type in the actual price just to make sure the line is at the price okay so that is how you use fever extension i hope uh that was clear enough if it's not don't worry okay you can either pm me or you can watch out for the next course that i will do which i will cover more in depth on fibo extension and how to use it as a chartist uh, nothing else okay you can pm me and drop me any questions all right if you want a more comprehensive look at all the knowledge that i have presented in the beginners series for this uh youtube video you can just buy uh go down to the link below and subscribe to the complete foundation course on udemy i also have an advanced course so if you are an advanced uh, trader you can subscribe to the advanced course as well all right thank you very much my name is jeffert i want to see you in the next video thank you